don't start to have sex at 11.30 when you both have to be conscious at 7 a.m. I was just supposed to tease you, but then you started masturbating and that was too hot not to touch. Sometimes you have to have sex at 11.30 with that when you have to wake up at 7 in the morning. When you start to have sex at 11.30, when you both have to be conscious at 7 a.m., make it worth it. <laughs> make it that sex where you forget not to cry out, where the only words you can find are her name and profanity. Make it that sex you want to lick off her fingers, the kind you got to hold on to for dear life. This is not kinky sex. There are teeth and nails and pulling, yes, but there is nothing edgy here about how full her lips are, about how much you mean it when you both gasp in unison, the texture of her heartbeat in your hand. We forgot what it was supposed to feel like when you touch someone after they've been begging you for it. We forgot what honesty tasted like. It made us raw, fresh, innocent. I came against the tremors of her heartbeat as she came, and when we opened our eyes, I found I'd been swallowed whole. Never turn down sex at 11.30 when you both have to be conscious at 7 a.m. <laughs> Instead, let the clandestine after bedtime lust flay you open after midnight. You become a different version of yourself. After midnight, you become a secret version of yourself. One not bound by the rules you've been carrying around with you all day. Hell, you're still awake, aren't you? Let's do something interesting. When you start to have sex at 11.30, when you both have to be conscious at 7 a.m., don't pussyfoot. Don't spare the neighbors your enthusiasm. Yell as loud as you can. Listen to what your skin is telling you. Find her heartbeat and press your sex into it like it's the last handhold. Let yourself be swallowed whole. Don't be afraid to use her name when you mean it.